Look at this, compute profit. If we do not know the language of business, if we do not have a common understanding of accounting, have the same understanding of accounting, in this particular example, we may compute profit in different manner. For example, in the month of January, Ram Prasad bought 10,000 units of an item at rupees 10 each. So basically, there has been purchases. He has bought goods. So when he has bought goods, he has purchased goods. We could call it purchases. Let us say these purchases are for 10,000 units at 10 each. I am talking of 1 lakh. Then he sold 8,000 units for rupees 15. Suppose I say therefore that the sales is 8,000 into 15. I am talking of 1,20,000. So I have a purchase of 1 lakh. I have a sales of 1,20,000 in this situation. The only other expense was a salary to his assistant that is 10,000. This he pays in the first week of February. But we need to ascertain the profit for the month of January. So if somebody asks us, what is the profit for January? Let us say, accountant one, okay, one says that we have made sales of 1,20,000, purchases is 1 lakh. Therefore, for January, the profit is 20,000. While there is an expense of 10,000, that is, that is paid only in the month of February. So here we get one option with a profit of 20,000. Let's take another accountant. The other accountant says, no, sales is 1,20,000, purchases is 1 lakh, true. But the expense salary is an expense for the month of January. Therefore, the profit should be 10,000. The third scenario, it's possible, says, no, no, I have sold. I have made a profit. If you see rupees 10, this is rupees 15, my profit is very simple. Profit is 5 rupees per unit into 8,000 units. Therefore, it is 40,000. The fourth one says, Profit is 40,000 less 10,000 expense. Therefore, profit is 30,000. So, one information with simple three transactions, a purchase, a sale and an expense item, we have got four different profits. So unless you and I understand accounting in the same manner, unless we understand some of the concepts, basic accounting concepts, it may be difficult for us to arrive at the same profit. What is the real profit? We will come to this later.